This video will show you how to access the locker function in D2L. Every Brightspace by D2L user has a virtual locker where they can store personal files and access them in all of their courses. Students and teachers can access their locker tool either from the home page of D2L or from their course. Your locker icon might reside here, or it might be inside your digital toolkit, depending on how your teacher has aligned their navigational bar. So in a student role, I'm going to go into the locker. And this is your personal space for personal documents, where you can upload files, create HTML document files, and create folders to organize your work. So from upload files, we can find something from our computer. You can always create a better visual line by striking this part out. Okay, so we can upload from here. And now this paper that I wrote resides in my locker. I could also create a new file. And when I do that, I have a lot of capabilities inside. So I could just grab some text from a document that I've already written. And cut it paste, cut and paste into this space. If I liked, I could also add a link. So you might be working from your OneDrive or from your Google Drive. So you could grab a link from there, or you might be making another digital project that you would like to submit and be able to use the drop box as your teacher has requested. Some files can't be opened in D2L as easily. Um, one example is pages. So if you're using pages, this is a great alternative to allow your file to be read properly by your teacher. So you can create a folder if you want to organize by course. You might want to put the year in. Everything straight. This locker follows you from course to course. So it doesn't matter what course I'm in this locker will follow me with all of the same documents. Now, the important part about Locker 2 is that you can submit files from your locker to your Dropboxes. Which are called assignments. So if I go into one of my assignments, Right down here where it says add a file, I have some choices. So we're working with Locker right now. I'm going to grab a document from Locker. I'm going to grab both of these. Okay. A note in there. If you want to add a link at this point, you can. You can also insert stuff here, such as embedded code. And you can also do that when you create your own file. So if you have embed code or a URL that you want to include as part of your assignment, that's no problem. Okay, so the teacher will be able to read the files that are being submitted through your locker if you're having any difficulties with the type of file that you're submitting. If your teacher is having difficulties opening it, this is a great workaround. So once again, this is Locker. It follows you through all your courses. It's the same Locker. It's personal to you and you can create documents in it. You can upload documents to it and you can organize your documents. So if you want to create a document, you can go to New File. And as I mentioned, if you want to submit embedded code or a URL, you can do that by cutting and pasting your URL in here and giving it a title. 
and that will be a helpful workaround for those digital assignments.